And good morning, this is my Jeep update for Wednesday, June 30th. It's about 0800 in the morning. And yesterday I didn't do anything yard work or Jeep work. I was just taking it easy. Resting up because I do have uh, a lot of work ahead of me. And this morning I've been messing around. And I'm waiting on some parts to come in that I need. Uh, I think in my uh, last video, if I remember right, I explained uh, where my driver's side rear axle came with the studs. My right rear passenger side did not. Now I contacted, uh, I think it's US Powertrain that I got them from, and they said that they that this particular uh, order did not come with studs and uh, the driver's side uh, the vendor that it came from must have sent me an axle uh, that had the studs in that you got to pay more money for I don't know but maybe I got a free set of studs I don't know this axle cost more than the right side but anyway, I ordered the uh, studs for the right rear, and they'll be in next week. Um, I don't make too many trips to the auto parts. Um, I, I got where I'm kind of lazy, and I order everything from Amazon and eBay, and I love it. Get good prices, good sir. A lot of times, I get stuff the same day or the next day. I, it's hard to believe, but I do. And anyway, uh, but this the studs won't be in until next week. Just, uh, and uh, so I think what I'm going to do is today I'm going to start working on installing my driver's side rear brakes, rotor, caliber, brake pads. And I've got four new uh, OC sensors uh, that I need to change out and that's probably gonna be a job so I think I'm gonna do those two or start working on them because I'll probably I anticipate running into some problems because uh, I know where they're at and I can get to them a couple of them are not that easy to get to but uh, uh, I don't know how long they've been in there they're probably the originals maybe I don't know but they're probably gonna be hard to get out but anyway, that's where I'm at right now. And uh, if I make any progress today, I will give you an update. And this is uh, my Jeep out for now. And this is my Jeep update. Still Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. And it's about 5.30 in the evening. I'm finishing up for today. And uh, I, like I said, I did some brake work. Uh, I got my right rear brake. Brakes installed, the uh, rotor and caliber. And uh, <clears throat> I had a little more problem getting this done than I did the front, uh, the caliber was a little harder to get on. And, you know, uh, it was a little more complicated due to the, you know, having to rebuild the uh, emergency brake, uh, put new shoes and uh, all the new hardware in there. And that was a little bit of work. So I didn't... Anyway, it was more work than the front. <laughs> anyway, I still got the right rear to do, waiting on studs, as I said earlier. And I don't know if I'll work tomorrow. I've got a dental appointment about 11. So I'll see how I feel when I get back in the time. But if I do work, uh, it'll probably, I'll start on the uh, O2 sensors that I got. Uh, start evaluating what I gotta do to get them out. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, lubricate them. And uh, go from there. And if I make any progress uh, tomorrow, well, I'll give you an update tomorrow if I go to work on the Jeep. 
Anyway, that's my Jeep uh, out for now. And it looks, we've had rain off and on today. And it uh, looks like we're going to have more tonight. It rained last night, yesterday even. We're in our wet season. And man, the western part of the country is in drought. And uh, from Texas to Florida, we're getting a lot of rain. But from west Texas out to the west coast is dry and drought in progress. Anyway, that's my Jeep out. It, it looks right. I had to keep going back to uh, YouTube videos and reviewing because I had a little harder time getting these, uh, this caliber. Not that the rotor was easy, uh, but, uh, but the uh, emergency brakes I had a hard time of it and uh, the caliber was harder it wasn't that bad but it was definitely a little tougher to do for me and that's due to probably lack of experience but anyway there it is i haven't torqued it down or anything i've got it tight but not torqued i've got a my friend's gonna come over a mechanic he's gonna inspect it and make sure that it's right and if it is if he likes what he sees then uh, I'll torque I'll torque the uh, bolts down and I'll move on to another item to work on anyway that's another quick update still Wednesday June 30th about six o'clock now and it's my Jeep out And good morning, it's my Jeep update for Thursday, July 1st, 2021. And this morning, uh, it's about 8.30 or so. This morning, I'm going to be checking out, locating, evaluating, uh, trying to figure out how hard it's going to be for me to do. I'll be going underneath here shortly. You know, just uh, I'll be locating my uh, O2 sensors, bank one, bank two, uh, upstream and downstream. I'm changing out all four of them. I've got the uh, transmission position sensor also. I may try to tackle it. Um, anyway, uh, I'm just looking right now scouting, reconning, and uh, anyway, uh, I'll get back with you on an update a little bit later, my Jeep out. Yeah, that's my Jeep for another quick update, just a couple minutes later, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a transmission mount. I'm gonna be checking that out. I'll probably change that out. Might even change the motor mounts out. I gotta look at them first. Now, I'm not sure what that sensor is, but I'm gonna find out. Cause I wanna change all my sensors out. I have no idea how long they've been in here or what. Okay, uh, I know where the downstream are. I've seen them before. I'm looking, I'm gonna do the upstream, I guess, first. Okay, there's, I think that's one of them right there. I believe that's one of them. Okay, you see, I definitely have a leak. I've got the AT. 205 in there but okay there we go you see them let me get the 
There's two right there. Yeah, I gotta figure which one. One of those is probably bank one, the other one's bank two. And, and then, let's see, where's that one? That I, and that one there is probably, uh, I would say bank one, scissor two, I'm just guessing right now. I gotta do a little research to make sure I get this right. But there's one, two, three, and there's another one that I've located before. And there, anyway, there they are. That's what I'm going to be trying to get. So, I'm going to get some lube. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to get some lube on them, on these three. And uh, I've got a torch if I need them. Need it, uh, hopefully I won't. But, but every, I anticipate some problems. They've probably been in there a long time and all the heat and everything. Uh, all the heat, uh, you know, they cause some things to really seize your heart to break loose. Anyway, that's a uh, my deep update for now. If I make any progress on this, I will give you an update. I might go ahead uh, here and see if I can uh, locate my transmission position sensor, my knee valve.